Klaarmeek. I'm from Studio Ede Klaarmeek from the Netherlands. We're presenting our mycelium chair for the first time. If you see a mushroom, it's only actually the flower actually of the mushroom. So the mycelium, that's actually the whole root structure of the whole fungi which is underground. And that's, that's for us the most interesting material. We had a kind of fascination for this 3D printing movement. And we adapted the 3D printer and made a kind of way to, to print straw. Injected with this mycelium, this, this mushroom, it's only like plain straw. So it's grounded, it's like powder. We infuse the mushroom because the mushroom apparently likes this kind of straw uh, to grow on. By infusing this mushroom, it, it works as a kind of glue. So it glues all these straw parts together. And as soon as you dry it, you get a kind of core material, which is all bounded together. PLA is uh, bioplastic and it's commonly used in uh, 3D printing. In our research, we also investigated that. So does a mushroom grow on PLA? Can it really become one with that. In the end, out of our material research, what we ended up with was to print PLA as a kind of outside cover and then fill it up with the, with the straw. But we found a way to, to 3D print it. The mycelium is all the way through the material and it pushes itself in, the, in its boundaries, what we created by modeling 3D shapes. So it becomes like a strong, solid material. When we first print it, it's actually quite heavy because we, um, the straw, we put a lot of water in it. It was around nine kilos and now it only remains around one. The mushrooms you see, which are popping out, they're more decorative. Our main purpose was to find this combination between the robot actually, or the machine and nature. And, and to have these two work together to create a kind of new material, which could be applicable for any product. It could be a table, it could be a whole interior. And that's where it becomes interesting for me because it's really strong, solid, lightweight, isolating. So we could build a house.